Oh, goodness. Islam Wars. Islam Wars. <clears throat> it is Sunday, January the 8th, 2023. Gregorian calendar year. I know today is a Saturday. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's Sunday. I just said it was Sunday. And then I say it was Saturday. It is the weekend. And I know most of the time you are very, very, very busy with getting your tasks done, uh, enjoying family and friends. But this message is in regards to the Prophet Noble Jewali. He just had a celebration. The celebration is really between the week of his birth. So everybody wants to celebrate and are celebrating Prophet Noble Jewali right? And what he did for the Moors. Okay. Now I want to be clear in this recording because he created the Moor Science Temple of America, just like the United States of America, right? And then you had the United States for America, right? So it was the United States constitution for the United States of America, for the United States of America. So let's be clear. The Moore Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitution, and bylaws. Because right there, it's telling you that it's the Moore Science Temple of America. It's telling you it's a temple. It's not saying that it's a government. It's not claiming to be a government. It's claiming to be a temple. So we're going to read over this, these seven acts. I believe it's seven acts for the Divine Constitution and bylaws for, this, for membership into the Moore Science Temple of America. Islam. I need y'all to hear me clearly because for the past at least five years, we've been utilizing a status, Moorish American status as a nationality, and that is a negative status. It doesn't exist in law, and it doesn't exist in law as we know it is treaty. The law of the land is treaty. So let's get out of our feelings. Let's get out of dogmatic principles and let's get on what it actually what we actually are supposed to be doing what love truth peace freedom and justice that's love truth peace freedom and justice so we gotta love instead of hate we gotta spread the truth instead of lies and dogmatic religious principles because a lot of the people who are pushing this information are making major finance, so that's why they will not course correct. Many of them with the Moroccan states being established pursuant to those same Moroccan treaties, well, three additional Moroccan treaties that Moors were not aware of because the individuals that were out there teaching them were coming from the Moorish Science Temple of America and bringing that information to the people, but a lot of the information was for an club was for a membership into a actual temple that was, and I'm going to read these articles to you so you can understand instead of you skipping past words that you don't understand, you don't comprehend, and you think it means what it does not mean. So I'm going to go over the Moore Science Temple of America, the divine constitution and bylaws for that, for membership in that organization, Islam. Act one, act one of the divine constitution and bylaws states the grand sheik and the chairman of the Moore science temple of America is a power is in power to make law and enforce law with the existence assistance of the prophet in the grand body of the Moore science temple of America. The assistant grand sheik is to assist the grand sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and it's known before the members of the Moore Science Temple of America. So what is the first article of the divine constitution and bylaws telling you? Who are the, 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 who's the grand sheik? What the responsibilities of the grand sheik is? The assistant grand sheik and the grand body of the Moore Science Temple is re in relationship to that organization. So this constitution is specific to this organization and they're telling you who are the leaders who make and enforce laws as it relates to that organization only because it is not a government. Islam. But there's a contradiction in the language because you have to be able to read, right? Because understand what a government is. What is a government? Governing how you behave 
behave in a society, governing how you behave in a society. And for the Moorish Science Temple of America, the establishment of this organization was to help Moors learn who they are, but it is not and how to govern their own activities. It is not a state and never claimed to be a state and based on treaty international law, in order for you to be a sovereign, you have to be a, a national of a sovereign nation, Islam. Article two, all, mem all meetings are to be opened and closed promptly according to the circle seven in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Friday is our holy day of rest because on the Friday, the first man was formed in flesh. And on Friday, the first man departed out of flesh, ascending unto his father, God Allah. For the cause, for that cause, Friday is a holy day for all Muslims all over the world because all beings are Muslims, not Muslims, Muslims. Article three, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed in practice by all members, not nationals, of the Moorish Science Temple of America. No member is to put in danger or accuse falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister because Allah is love. So that article is telling you, do not defame somebody's character. Live in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Because under subjugation and acting outside of our nobility and status, Moors have turned into really, really violent individuals. Let's be honest. That's why that article is there. Now you got Article Four. Article Four states. Let me put. Let me plug up my my laptop because it's acting like it's about to die. I'm plugging up my laptop. It's like um, Article 4, all members must preserve their holy and divine laws, and all members must obey the laws of the government, government lowercase, because by being a Moorish American, you are part and parcel of the government and must live the life accordingly. What it's telling you you are a part of is the United States of America, which is why the American tag was placed above or behind your Moorish title. Let's say your Moorish status as it relates to this organization. So I'm going to read that again. All members must preserve these holy and divine laws. And all members must obey the laws of the government. They were speaking of the United States of America because to claim yourselves at yourselves as a Moorish American under this temple, which is teaching you how to love instead of hate and to be on the five principles of light, which is love, truth, truth, peace, freedom, and justice is just letting you know that you are part and parcel of the government and must live the life accordingly because the, because Morocco, uh, because Prophet Noble Jew Ali never was able to establish those Moroccan states, but he did establish this corporation or this organization or this entity uh, and registered registered it under in Chicago, I believe, in Chicago, King County, Chicago, Illinois, one of those areas. Don't get me to lying. Um, go fact check it. But he established this organization and registered this organization so he was able to freely teach his people what they needed to know. That's what this organization is. It is a membership and this and this constitution and bylaw is based is 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 the is part of the membership of that organization. So when you became a so-called Moorish American of the Moorish Science Temple of America, these were the bylaws. Thank you, Cook County. These were the bylaws that the Moors had to agree to to be a member of the Moor Science Temple of America. So it's telling you, one, you are a so-called citizen of the United States of America based on that being a government and based on a government of Moors not originally being established under this jurisdiction. So that's why when you go into the temple, they say you have to abide by the laws of, this, of the so-called state and of the United States of America because of Article 4. When you become a member of the Moorish Science Temple of America, you capitulate, you capitulate to the more, to the United States of America and you agree to be, um, you ag agree to the laws of that constitution. So let me read article four again in case you forgot what I just said. All members must preserve these holy and divine laws. So now you, you must preserve the holy and divine laws and all members must obey the laws of the government. So they're trying to tell you you are subject to the United States of America because before the Moroccan states were established, 
back in 2021 with the first AMPAC, sta uh, state AMPAC, which is Elodium, Morris, Pradium, Anti-Colorado, was established. Before that, that sta Moroccan state was established, pursuant to those Moroccan treaties, which is international law, the United States of America was the only government established Yes, that's because the Moorish Americans are citizens of the United States of America. They absolutely, positively are citizens of the United States of America because you can't be a stateless person pursuant to international law and pursuant to the treaties. So what am I saying? Article 5. This organization of the Moorish Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. They're talking about the United States of America. They're not talking about a Moroccan state because a Moroccan state was not established yet by Prophet Noble Juwali. He was in the process of doing that before he got, he, before he passed form. Article six. With us, all members must proclaim their nationality and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are a part and parcel of this said government and know that they are not Negro color, black people or Ethiopians because these names are given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now and all men must pro proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government the united states of america in which they live in the nations of the earth this is the reason why allah the great god of the universe ordained prophet noble Jew Ali, the prophet to redeem his people from their sinful ways by identifying outside of their national status the moorish americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited northwest, northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. What he's saying there is that, one, you must proclaim your nationality. In order to proclaim your nationality, you have to create a Moroccan state. Proclaiming your nationality is one, saying that you are a Moor, you are a Moroccan of the Mor of for the Moroccan Empire. Not for the United States of America, nor are you are a or a Moorish American because you can't be on both sides of the contract. As it relates to the Treaty of Peace and Friendship between His Imperial Majesty, the Sultan of Morocco, and the United States of America, those are two parties. You got Morocco on one side, you got the Americans on the other side, which are also identified as American states, American citizens, and the United States citizens. Moors can never be a citizen because they already have a status, they already have a nationality. That is what he was trying to teach you. That is what he was trying to teach you in those temples. He was trying to teach you. They were conquered because they claimed a status that was not theirs. They capitulated. Our ancestors capitulated under threat, duress, and coercion to be a so-called United States citizen because they didn't want to die. This is a new age now. You have the freedom through those Moroccan treaties. Treaty of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1787 and 1836. The Treaty of Madrid of 1880, rights and protections in Morocco, not at Morocco, in Morocco. The Treaty of Al Jazeera, which is the general act showing you how to reestablish your, your, your independence, as well as the Treaty of Madrid telling you how to reclaim your status by choosing between the total submission of the Moroccan Empire or to be, continue to be a, a citizen of the United States because you don't want to do what you need to do. No, stop saying stuff, Dean. Gene, if you don't want to be on this platform, just go somewhere else because you're contradicting yourself based on what? Moroccan Empire was conquered between 1906 and 1956. What does that mean? Validate what you're saying. The Madrid was overruled. Overruled Article 15 was voided in 15, 1958. No, it wasn't. Read. Learn how to interpret the things that you're saying. Don't just come on a platform and, and, and make an ignorant comment without being able to justify what you're saying. And I'm tired of talking to Moors who think they know stuff because they have a dogmatic mindset. A dogmatic mindset. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I don't play games with Moors that don't want to listen, that Moors that like to follow. I'm not here for you to follow me. I'm here to give you the information so you can make the decisions for yourself because ultimately each man and woman must confess their own. So what am I saying? Now, we got to go back to six. 
We only got one more to go. This ain't going to be no long broadcast. With all of us, members of the More Science Temple of America must proclaim their nationality, and we are teaching our people their nationality. Well, for about 100 years, they've been teaching their people nationality, but they've never actually declared or proclaimed their nationality because you cannot necessarily be a national of the United States. You can't be a national of the United States as a more because you have a nationality. Now, whether or not you want to do the work mores, because that's pretty much what it is. Moors don't want to do the work to become independent and sovereigns, but yet they want access to their lands and access to their resources and access to titles of, of, of property, but yet the only way that can be conferred is through a Moroccan state. That can only be a, a conferred through a Moroccan state. If you don't establish a Moroccan state within your corporate zones that you domicile near as Moors uh, pursuant to those four treaties, and I didn't get to the fourth one because it was, yes, I was. It was the two treaties apiece, the Treaty of Madrid, Treaty of Algeria. Those treaties only showed Moors, just like the Vienna Convention and every other subsequent international law that's telling you, literally telling you what it is Moors have to do to regain their status as na Moroccan nationals internationally so they can become and declare themselves independent of the United States of America because without that independence, without that declaration, without the establishment of those Moroccan states, you are stateless which is why the United States is claiming jurisdiction not only over you, but over your assets and giving you deeds of interest, deeds of interest to property, as long as you pay your feudal fee, feudal fee. So I'm only talking to Moors who want to change this. I'm not talking to Moors who are comfortable in the position that they're currently in. If you're comfortable, stay where you at. We're not worried about you. We're concerned with the Moors who are, want to be adults, Moors who want to be adults because to be concerned, considered an adult to be considered an adult to be considered an adult you actually have to have the government you have to have a nationality you have to be you have to be a represented political body internationally so Morris, until you start getting into this you are a child you're a child raising children. And I'm not sitting here trying to poke fun at you. I'm just tired of people posting stuff. And because we, we, we are so used to dogmatic religion, we don't think that we have to learn things. We don't think that these electronic devices that I'm broadcasting you from, which are worth a thousand dollars, can, are just used to be getting on social platforms just to talk about how happy you are when you're not happy. You're not happy. That's why you're posting about it. A true happy people don't got to post to let other people know how happy they are because they live in their happiness. Islam. Back to what I was saying. So the government is the United States of America because like I said, the Prophet Noble Juali was establishing, was establishing those Moroccan states. But before he could actually establish them, he need he needed competent Moors. And because Moors back then thought that they were, well, they were a property of the United States of America. That America tag was a, was kept on there not only for him to be able to teach his people without having, you know, them destroy what he created. So he had to, in the public, present him at, present the Moors as Moorish Americans because back then people were killing each other. Albion's was just was was murdering Asiatics and a lot of Asiatics were complicit in that act, complicit in it back then, still today. What else did I wanted to say about this? Hmm. All right, we I think I got through Article Six. Let me go to Article Seven. Where the temples was called the state. States. Well, that's lowercase states. So if it's lowercase states, that means it was recognized by another state, which gave them some type of authority to operate. Do we know that? No, because the more science temple individuals who've been running those temples for over a hundred years ain't expressing that. We don't have no documentation to validate whether or not actual Moroccan states were established. So I can't answer that question. And in terms of Khufu, y'all can sit here and keep following our sons into these pits that they keep the pits that they keep putting out there for y'all. Y'all keep doing that if y'all want. I'm about the matriarchal council of women. I'm about women gaining knowledge because at the end of the day, when I was watching Ampac Study Lesson 3, when I was watching Ampac Study Lesson 3, 
it bought up impact study lesson three bought up revelations revelations um i can't even spell revelations ain't that crazy it bought up revelations chapter 12 uh verses one through six how all of our women are birthing children and literally throwing them into the mouths of who? Who are you throwing them into the mouth of? Who? The lion is devouring all the children. Why is the lion devouring all the children once they're born? Because the women are signing them over through those birth records to the state and to the so-called United States of America as property. That's how uh in chapter uh book of in the book of Revelations, chapter twelve, um, verses one through six is just expressing to you that you know, through that birth certificate, mothers are giving away their heirs as well as their um, titles. Let's just say their titles to land. Your titles to land and all that other stuff is being given away. It's literally being given away because mothers have learned through churches and all these other uh, organizations that are being run by our Asiatic sons to do a lot of these things. And the mothers were doing it. So for the past what? Because when did the birth record even, when was it established? Whereas though we had to get birth records for our children. Those birth, birth records were literally titles, transfer of titles from one to another. Islam. Now I'm going to go to the last uh, article because I said I was going to come over here just to give you some clarity. Y'all going to do what y'all want to do at the end of the day. Y'all either going to get on board with these Moroccan states or y'all going to remain to be subject and to keep complaining about everything but yet not positioning yourself to do anything about it. Article 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and parcel of all uplifting acts of the Moore Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all the necessities of the Moore Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey fathers and mothers and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Jew Ali, through the guidance of his faith, God Allah. Now, I just read you that. Now you have the Moorish science tip, the Moorish American prayer, which is Allah, the father of the universe, the father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is our protector, our God, and our salvation by night and by day through the holy prophet, Noble Jew Ali. I know all of these I've watched all of these I've we've all done this because the individuals that came out on social media come from the temples that's why we originally identified as so-called Moorish Americans but that was established back when you know it was it was you it was scary to sit here and try to declare independence from the United States of America because they were so violent they were lynching our people they were doing all types of stuff to our people and our people I mean, think of, think of them today. They're still very, very fearful. They're still very, very scared to do any and everything. They do everything that they are told because their mothers trained them to be that way. Their fathers instilled that based on being the enforcement of the household. So a lot of our people still lived in that fear. So back in the day, they wasn't going to do nothing that went against the so-called United States of America when they could loot their house could be burned. They could be they could see their sons and their daughters lynched down the street on the tree. So they did certain things to be able to show that they were still doing what they were supposed to be doing as a so-called United States citizen, but he was teaching them the truth. But he died before he could he could um, actually establish the Moroccan states because the Moorish Science Temple was only established to teach the Moors who they were. And at that particular time, they thought they were Americans. So he had to put Moorish American in the title, Moors. And that's why he put it there. He didn't put it there for it to remain there because once you got competent, once you really started reading and understanding, overstanding and understanding what these treaties, international law was saying, you were supposed to drop the American. And through 
actually reading, which means interpreting the things that you know, that the things that, that you're reading, being able to interpret it to know what it really means. So the Moore Science Temple Constitution and Bylaws is only and exclusively for members of the Moore Science Temple of America. And the Moorish American name could have been what was put in there by the conversos who destroyed the, the, the Moore Science Temple back when Prophet was here and, 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 and created their own organizations, registered them under the state, and decided to never teach the Moors how to stand independently because they never taught them actual law. Not to mention the treaties. I only knew about the first treaty of peace. That's the only the only the only treaty that older Moors were talking about. If they mention the Treaty of Madrid, the Treaty of Algezir, it was it was just a mention. It wasn't you were not being taught how to actually overstand what they meant and if you would actually get out of your dogma get out of your fellowship and be in scholarship as J. Jermaine Bay would say and discern for yourself meaning being able to read being able to sit here and have that dissection being able to pull those four treaties together and watch those impact study lessons so you can be competent and I'm no longer running on a Facebook live to sit here and go over the more science temple of America constitution and bylaws. So I can express to you that they were teaching Moors how to govern themselves within the jurisdiction of the United States of America. And that was all that temple membership was, even though there's a line to telling you that, uh, we must, uh, with, uh, with us as an under article six, which is the reasons why I came on this platform, article six, which, um, with us all members of the Moore Science Temple of America must proclaim their nationality. Well, in order for you to proclaim your nationality, you got to be clear on as it relates to who you are before you can even proclaim it. So you got to be clear on that. And if the temples ain't teaching you how to be clear on what a Moor is and who a Moor is ancestrally and how they are the true sovereigns of the land, but capitulated to the United States of America as protégés and protected persons with privileges as aliens, we would be, we would be out of this if you would stop just following men and just, and, and, and know what you're talking about and know what they're talking about and know what the laws are so you can hold, so we can hold each other accountable. That's how you get peace by people knowing the law, by knowing the law and not tr uh, trespassing against it and holding those individuals who trespassed against it accountable. That's why you got to read it. That's why you have to read those treaties. Now, somebody earlier who I pushed off the platform, because like I said, I don't debate on my own platform. You got your own platforms, debate on your stuff. What I said was this. And what she said was, oh, this treaty is not this. This treaty is not that. Well, what else do you have to say? Make a competent argument. Don't just say, oh, this happened this time. Because if you watch the study lessons, the impact study lessons from Shucks, get to at least the first 10 videos should clear you up, really. The first 10. But if you get past the first 10 and, and you can actually stand still long enough to read and to and not just listen to the Moors because y'all just listen. And write the stuff down, go to your Black's Law Dictionary, write the words out. Because I do have classes where people make every excuse why they don't put time and energy into this. And I did post last a couple of days ago, okay, why does all these hair tutorials have millions, millions of views? I know why, because you're sitting there um, trying to gratify your lower self. You want to sit there and continue to participate in things that are not helping you. It's about love, truth, peace, freedom, justice. And the most important part about that is obviously love because that's the first. But if you come in from a loving place, you're going to tell the truth. And I'm trying to tell you that love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. What's the opposite of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice? Freedom and justice. The opposite of love is hate. The opposite of truth is falsehood. The opposite of um, peace is warring. The opposite of... Uh, freedom is slavery and the opposite of justice is corruption. If your people are not on the top tier by their operations, by their actions, they're automatically on the bottom tier. They hate themselves, so they hate you. They're spreading lies because there's no truth within them. And if they are presented with the truth, they're going to reject it because they're in the bottom tier. I don't care if that's your brother. I don't care if that's your consorts. I don't care. That's where they are. 
you have to get past how you feel about situations and change it because we're no longer going to keep kicking the bucket down the road for independence. No other nation has to kick the bucket down the road for independence and no other nation has to be convinced as it relates to who they are. So Morris Overstand, I know a lot of you are scared. You are fearful. You seen things that, that happened to me in my history, things that happened to Jamal and his, as well as other Moors who are on the front line, the front line, trying to not just talk about it, talk about it, do something about it. I'm not here to just talk about this because I live, I live in the top tier, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. When I was in, when I was, um, when I had a meeting with a, a noble who taught, who taught me some things that I was not aware of. And when I, and when I, and when I became conscious of it, it took me about two to three weeks to really get in, to get in my head, but I didn't, it didn't take me two to three weeks to activate what I was hearing. It took me literally three to three weeks to, to figure out how I was, how I was going to alternate, alternate a course correct within myself, because I'm not here for sh giggles. I'm not here for giggles. I'm not here for popularity and I'm not here for finance. I made more money before I came to more science, just so you know. This did not create a living space for me. I had a living space before it. I came here because I wanted to know who I was. I wanted to be a part of my community. I hated the devastation that our people face are faced with every day, but they make excuses on why they won't do nothing about it. I'm not making no excuse. I'm doing something about it. You ought to do the same. You are charged to do the same. You're not here just to live your best life on social media. You're here to make a change for your heirs. That's why you are fathers and mothers. Not to sit here and live your best life on social media. Social media is fake. Understand that. What's real is what's when you walk outside your door. That's what's real. Come on, let's get back into this scholarship and get out of fellowship. Let's let's do what we need to do. Watch those impact study lessons. Watch them all, because y'all call me all the time, and I have to I have to. If I got a course correct, I gotta tell you, you got a course correct. Because guess what? With that more science tag, people all over the country have been getting their butt beat. Property taken away, freedoms taken away, liberties taken away, or privileges because that's all you had. You didn't have liberties. You had you had you had liberties. We we did a definition of liberties. Where is my book? You lucky I don't have it. No, I'm gonna go find that book. Liberation, liberation, because you want to be liberated, right? That's ultimately what you want. You want liberation from from dogma, which is the the true, uh, in, which is truly enslaving you because you hold so fast on to someone's interpretation of the word when you're confronted, which is cognitive di cognitive dissonance. When you're when you're confronted with the truth, you reject it because of dogma, right? So liberation. I'm gonna look the word up. Liberation only because you need to know you're only gonna get it one way. And in in the definition of liberation, it actually said. You have to, oh, you lucky I can't find a darn word. You lucky I can't find a definition of liberation. Because I would literally tell you what it says as it relates to liberation. In order for you to be liberated, you have to literally terminate the contract. You terminate the contract through nationality. Nationality is conferred through Moroccan states. Moroccan states are to supposed to be established pursuant to the treaties, the treaties, the Moroccan treaties. And the person that was on here earlier that was talking about the treaty, you know, talking about, oh, this is expelled. Oh, this is not a part of the treaty. Oh, this is that. Don't even realize how powerful you are as being Moroccans. You can make changes that you need to make. But at the same time, you can't make not a single freaking change as it relates to your status and in, 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 in your, your condition until you stop being children and, and start being adults Declare and proclaim nationality through the Moroccan states that are established and stop being in fellowship because you ain't going nowhere in fellowship. You ain't been going nowhere in fellowship because the first fellowship started with the churches and, and you can look at every Asiatic community. The best building in the community is the freaking church. 
And the church is supposed to be liberating the people. No, it's furtherly enslaving you in dogmatic principles. If you want to continue to be that way, if you want to continue to keep giving your children to, to be food for the dragon, meaning as soon as you have them, give them up. And you wonder why the youth today don't pay you no mind. Why the youth today don't, don't care about the, or, or they love you because you're their mothers and their fathers, but you have not, you have not been doing your responsibility. You have not been doing what adults are supposed to do. And don't get mad at me. That's reality in our communities, in our neighborhoods. We're fighting each other for scraps because we won't do the real fight, which is align ourselves in international law and declare that the people who are actually controlling our communities, the people who are actually funding themselves through our communities, those are the people we need to not necessarily be fighting. I ain't talking about picking up no, I'm just talking about picking up a book. <laughs> and the crazy part about it is the information is at your freaking fingertips. Before you had to join these secret societies and declare oaths and allegiances and give up your babies, same thing. Stop giving up your babies. Everybody says that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. We got to do this right, y'all. And y'all all supposed to be a party to it. But because y'all don't trust each other, because you don't trust yourself, y'all can't even unite. Why can't you unite? Because how are people got the biggest egos but the, 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 at the bottom? How are you at the bottom with the biggest ego? The biggest pride? If you really love your children, you'll do what you're supposed to do. If you really want to want life to be better for them, you'll give them the keys that you were lacking by watching those videos, those impact study lesson videos. I'll tap the, the link in this in this broadcast so you at least can get a foundation as to why you're doing what you're doing, because ultimately you're doing it for your heirs. Islam, peace and love. You have a great Sunday. Hopefully y'all ain't going to church, but I know a lot of people still do that. But, hey, you got to let people, uh, everybody got to confess their own. Everybody's got to do that. Islam, peace and love. Y'all have a great and honorable day.